Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the channel. Read is by Marvelous Madame Tarot. I am Mar. And we are going to go ahead and get into your February 2024 number three energy read. This reading is going to be examining your romantic energy. Okay. Your romantic energy. Sagittarius, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective and in the pinned comment. Let's get into this. This is for Sagittarius. Leading, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This is for Sag. This is for Sagittarius. Heart play shows this could be the one. Some of you guys are connecting with a Scorpio. They got that same card, just in a different place. We are ending this with flirts. You're extending your lighthearted energy to others right now. And you are doing you, Sag. Okay? You are. Listen. But you know what? Although you are allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy. Although you are flirting and extending your lighthearted energy to others. And doing what Sagittarians do. In your heart. It is suggesting that there is one that 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 is currently in your energy right now. And this could be the one. In Scorpio's energy, they called that person in. So that is the one. In your energy, you're flirting, doing you, extending your energy to others, you know, dating, going out and doing what Sagittarius do. But there is one, and you, you only you know who that person is, that is the one. That's the one. Yep. Honorable mention that just flipped over is the Four of Pentacles. Let's see if this comes back out. So one of these people is the one. Why are these cards here for Sagittarius? Ooh, we. Guess what? Seven of Cups. Ooh. So you don't... You want to keep your options open. That's no, oh Lord. Okay. Keeping your options open is nothing new. Who are we kidding? You know that all of these options are not viable. You probably listening to this now like, okay, any, many, and mighty, and mo. Which one is this, Marv? Who are you talking about? Okay, so there is maybe seven different options. And out of seven options, one of them is the one and one is not viable. Six aren't viable and one is the option. One is it. This is an individual who made you even think about marriage. I'm not saying you want to get married. I said you thought about it. So don't come through the screen trying to come look for me. Okay. And another thing that I'm getting off of this also is Sedge. You've been thinking. Some of you guys have been thinking about settling down. I said thinking. Because the flirt is being clarified by four swords. You could have them to you or them or you to them, but I'm gonna read it this way because I'm feeling like it's you to them. You pointed towards them and not the other way around, but you can change it. You this person threw you for a loop. So this is what this is how I see it. You know who the hell this person is, right? But you still stayed the course. You're not correcting the course. You are staying the path. You like work person. We moving forward, right? And that's cool, fine, and dandy. The problem is that this person threw you for a loop. You have been quietly contemplating your next move. And this person got you feeling, you got, they got you set tripping, boo. This person really threw you for a loop and has you looking at them in a different light. This could be the one is in the heart place. So if you're ready to settle down and go into a relationship, this is that person. This person has the type of mind that you want. Because, I mean, you, you're you spreading yourself around. You're doing you and living your life the way you want with these, uh, these seven other things. It don't necessarily have to be, you know, all people. 
you know, jewels and all sorts of stuff. A snake. I got, I got, let me see really quick. It's, it looks like a home, jewelry, a snake. <laughs> I mean, you got everything you need. You don't need this relationship, but you came across somebody different. You came across somebody different. And I think that that was when you realized what it was, right? That's when you realize, oh shit, this is what Marv is talking about. That's when you got there. Because Seven of Cups is about choices, fantasies, illusions, indecisiveness, okay? Wishful thinking. Gifts, riches and castles, bad outcomes with dragons and ghosts and snakes. All of this is in this, in, in this card. So on one hand, you're trying to decide what you want. You got analysis paralysis. Am I going to stay and start and, and continue to rack my brain with these multiple options? Or am, this, per, this person put something on your mind. And because the Four of Swords is such an introspection, quietly contemplating type of card, you could have even had a conversation with this person. And when they asked you, it, it was sexy as hell to you and opened you up to something that you had never even thought about before. So I think this option threw you for a loop. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. And I will see you in number four. Bye, Sag.